salt than almost ever before. Plow drivers will be out all night long scraping and salting local roads. Conditions are really just downright dangerous out there tonight. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski is joining us live. She is in weather tracker 2 on the Silas Dean in Weathersfield with what it looks like outside tonight. Hi, Eliza. Hi, Mark. Yeah, so overall, the highways are clear and treated. Those plows have been out all day long working to make sure these roads are safe. I want to flip it over right now to what the Silas Dean is looking like here in Weathersfield. It's pretty clear, you know, give or take. The side streets that you turn onto, those are kind of the concern. You can see some icy, snowy patches up here, but it's relatively clear clear here on the side streets as well as the highways. But I spoke with a plow driver earlier. He says the way this storm happened with the rain and the snow, it just created like a sheet of ice. A lot of cars spinning out. Slippery, slushy roads all day across the state. It's been a long day for crews working to clear those roads. We've been out since six this morning, just trying to open up the roads in the morning. And now we're trying to finish cleaning them up. Some towns like Tolland had crews out since 2 a.m. With the layers of snow and ice, John Michael DiDomenico, a foreman, says this has been a difficult storm to clean up. It's hard because when the rain came in, everything just glazed over and became a sheet of ice. If your street isn't fully cleared up yet, here's why. Usually we hit the residentials at the end of the storm, which usually we could get to within the hour after it snows. But with this storm, with all the ice that's happening, we've laid down more salt than we have all year, even last storm. On those side streets like this one here in Glastonbury, <laughs> residents struggled to clear their own pathways and driveways. It's been going on all day. It goes from snow to sleet to rain to back to snow. Doctors say this is the time when you really need to be cautious. The Hospital of Central Connecticut has seen a lot of injuries related to this weather from car accidents to falls on ice and the most vulnerable population, the elderly. We've seen brain injuries, orthopedic injuries, hip fractures, any number of injuries related to those slips and falls. If you do have to go out, make sure you have proper shoes, clothes, and you bring your phone. And I can't overemphasize enough the importance of always being with someone else uh, when you're going out. Because if an accident happens, you are much better able to get help um, if someone else is with you. Dozens of schools have also released their delays for opening tomorrow, so allow yourself plenty of time to drive safe and get out the door tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Rocky Hill, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Yeah, we have a lot of that closing information on the bottom of the screen right now. Eliza, thank you.